Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the manager of training services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to start a series that will demonstrate a workflow that's come to mind recently, where you start with an AutoCAD floor plan, take that into Revit and build a 3D model, and then use Navisworks and Recap to compare your 3D model to a scan of a, the facility to make sure that the floor plan and the 3D model are accurate. For this project, I really could start with either the AutoCAD to, to Revit or the recap processing of the scans. And in my project, I'm going to have to work with the origin a little bit in recap. So I felt that was a, an appropriate place to start with this project. So I've got two scans of just a room of a facility. And I'm going to go ahead and, and bring those in and make a, a point cloud from that. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. I'm going to tell it I want to import. I'll name this. I'll call this uh, facility scan. And I'll want to save it to a particular location on my C drive. So I'll go ahead and browse out to where I keep all this stuff. And I'll create a new folder here. Call it facility scan. And I'll select that folder. So I'll go ahead and create the project. And now I need to bring in the scans. So I have a folder here. So here I have a folder that has the two scans in it. And I'll bring these in. I'll tell it to import the files. And I'll just tell it to try to auto register the scans together. So we'll let this run for a few minutes and then we'll come back and see what we've got. So the two scans, for some reason, weren't, there wasn't enough overlap or enough obvious things for the software to connect. So it's actually going to ask me to register the scans together, which isn't, a two, isn't that big of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to this. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to start comparing them. And it's going to tell me here, you want to pick three different planes, and I'll go ahead and say, I got this. So in my scenario here, basically this wall of windows is the same wall. So I can tell here that this upper corner of this window would be the same upper corner of this window. You can see the software is actually trying to match up as I work through this, but... Um, I'm gonna, I've got three points in mind from working with this data before. This is the same aisle way, so this corner of that aisle marker and this one would be the same. And then in this one here on the post, there is some sort of fire alarm. I can't tell if it's a bell or if it's a switch. It looks like from this image, it looks like it's mostly a bell. So by matching up those three, they're on three separate planes. You can see it's now found a pretty good match. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to merge the scan. And tell it to index the scans. And again, this is another scenario where it's going to take a few moments. We'll let it process this. And whenever it's done, we'll actually take a look at our 3D model. Now let's put my scan together. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to launch the project. You can see I've got my, my 3D model here. Now, one thing that I typically do is I find it kind of hard to work with a model if I can't see in through the roof. And so what I typically will do with these is I will classify some of the points across the top as, as the ceiling, and I'll then be able to turn that region off. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to, actually, I'm going to come to the front view here, just kind of select roughly right through about here to select those. Tell it I want to create a new region. I'll call it ceiling. And now that I have them in a region, I can turn those off so I can see into the building and into the floor plan a little bit better. I kind of like being able to do that. Just as kind of the way I think. 
All right, so the next thing I want to do is I typically would like to set the origin because the origin in this file is actually at the original scan location, which that's somewhere in the middle of the facility, four or five feet off the ground. I don't like that. I want it on the ground in a particular corner so I can kind of work with this and make sure everything's a little bit more square. So what I want to do here is I'm going to take the origin and set it somewhere else. And this is why I'm kind of starting with this part so you can see where I want to put the origin so then we can kind of have a better idea of how everything else fits together. So what I'll do is I'll actually use this post right here, kind of right about here in this bottom corner, make sure that is set up as my origin. So I come up here, I can tell it I want to update the origin. I'll try to get a point at the bottom of this post. And everything else, X, Y, and Z, was lined up pretty well. But if I need to change the orientation of the model, I can do that by hitting Tab and trying to uh, update the other axes and so on. But here I'm just going to hit Enter. It's going to move the origin to that location or to that point. So now we're in a little bit better shape. Let me go ahead and save this. And this is actually where we're going to be done with recap until the very end. So remember where you save this. Remember to keep this file handy. But we're kind of done with recap. We're going to go into the other, other products now. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at my email address on the screen. And again, thank you for watching.